ready. Megan. Megan! Oh, I hear you. I'm Hi. here. Hi. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm wonderful. You have a, I just want to let you know, you have a great feeling about you. I don't know oh. why. I don't ever normally say that. You do. You do. That's and, very um, sweet. <laughs> yeah, you do. I just, I just want to tell you that there's like, um, it usually takes me a half a second to like get in the feel area, but like as soon as you showed up, um, and you can also feel like there's a, I'll just tell you everything. So there's like a, there's a level of like cozy, making sure that everybody's okay. I'll just tell you exactly what I'm feeling. The next one is like a level of, of sadness, which that's why we're here. There's like hope into it. There's, and you can feel that uplift. There's also a level of like what most women have, right? Just being like, okay, I'm going to sit down now. You know, essentially there's that, <laughs> yeah, right. that feeling as well. Cause I could recognize that in myself. Um, and oh, hold on. There's somebody here already talking <laughs> at the same time too. So there is a, a full house. So that's kind of like the initial. So let me tell you how I do this. Number one. Um, I think first off that there is going to be one spirit and I'm just looking around cause I'm feeling there's nothing here. Um, there's going to be one spirit that's going to guide this whole thing. And I think I know exactly who it is. Um, they're like, ta-da. Uh, that's how they essentially are making themselves feel. Um, this sometimes could lead me to believe that maybe they're being a guide for you or maybe they're in the middle vibration a little bit. Um, we'll have to figure out why that would be. Um, usually there's three reasons and we'll have to see if one of those reasons fit. Okay. That's like continuous. Uh, the next thing is like, how do we do this? Well, uh, number one, obviously, it's just going to be me. I'm going to have this little notepad and I'm going to have this little pen over here that I throw over there when I went to go to the bathroom. And I'm essentially going <laughs> to throw it around, chew on it. Um, and this just kind of like keeps me, I'm, all I'm going to do is scribble the entire time. This is like a new one, but all it does is make me focus. That's okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm not taking notes on you. The next thing though, too, is that I'm going to have um, a spirit box on and so sometimes I may look down and I'll be like do you know this name or do you think this has anything to do with this like Friday um, I was having a session with a woman and they kept showing me an image of this dog running back and forth like up three stairs from outside into her like back door I was like do you have three stairs and she was like yeah 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 and I was like weird there's this dog and then as I said that I was like weird I said do you have anything to do with like a bus or a leg and she was like yeah he ran out the back door got hit by a bus and it crushed <laughs> his two back legs at the same I have the screenshot that's gonna be a video by the way so you'll be able to see that fully so FY and I'm like oh well that's interesting you know um mm -hmm. but the dog was just there the other two few things is you know how do they talk how does this work well I have to be in a really calm state obviously right now I'm getting a little excited um but we're saying hey I love you so much I appreciate like you to them I appreciate you so much I want you to show up use my energy your energy and I want you to hop in Amy's brain and I want you to use it like a computer that's all this is OK, mm -hmm. so essentially for me, I'm like the computer, obviously, and they have to figure out how to use it. So they use it in four different ways. Um, it gets a little wild. The first way is that they will try to give me all these signs and symbols. Um, I've created thousands of them over the years. And like one of them is a pineapple. That means that they're from Florida. OK, another one is if I see this chocolate lab in my head like a dog, his name was Cuba. I channeled him like 10 years ago. Anyways, that now means that they were from Cuba. So they'll put these in a line. They'll create a sentence. I'll give it to you. The other ways are that they will try to put me maybe in a situation that either they have been in, you have been in or you will be. Okay. Um, and they take either memories that I've had personally, like they'll take stuff from when I was like five and try to bring it up or even like YouTube videos or books that I've read or other sessions that I've had. They'll essentially create this movie and I got to tell you what it is. The only issue here personally for me is that I haven't had every experience. 
right? Um, and I haven't been everywhere in the world. So I'm from Houston, Texas. I live out in the middle of nowhere, right on like east side of Texas by Louisiana border. I don't believe in snow. I've never been like <laughs> Kansas and up. Um, I've been to like New York. And I've been to California, but I haven't been further than that. So if you live in like Winnipeg, Canada, and you ask me, what did our neighborhood look like? <laughs> I know it's cold. There's probably plaid and there's maple syrup. And I'm here for that. You know, that's essentially what I know. But um, they'll try to bring stuff in by, like I said, videos or other clients and stuff like that. It can get pretty cool. Um, it's just it would be hard for me to say, you know, what does my neighborhood look like? Because I haven't seen it, you know. Yeah. Um, and the last two things are that they will try to... Uh, like talk mainly in feelings and emotions. So that's what's happening right now. So they will come in and they will make me feel um, like what it was like for me to love my dad. And I'll be like, oh, there's a loving father energy here. Or even like what it was like for me to watch, um, God, what is that? The Greatest Showman, the movie. Mm -hmm. And so somebody was, they made me, that's where the whole da da, like somebody was making me hear that guy like the and he was like performing that's why i was like oh it's kind of like this person wants to be the upfront person weird and the last thing is words they will sometimes just talk in words and i gotta tell you what they are so just stay with me i'm gonna kind of look off into like nothing zone mm -hmm. and the only thing i really need from you is to now that we're talking about dogs they're trying to talk about dogs too interesting Okay, all I really need from you is just to say, you know, Amy, yeah, what you're giving me makes sense, or no, it doesn't. And the reason for that is when I get all this stuff, and they're playing in my brain, and I put it into a sentence, and I'm going a million miles an hour, and when you go, yes, that makes sense, I go, holy shit, okay, good, she got it. Oh, my God, great. You know, I'm like, yay, my <laughs> translation worked, and then I essentially move to the next one, but it's going a bajillion miles an hour, okay? And so if I seem a little, like, just in that moment it's because i'm trying to figure out the world's most difficult puzzle so just stay with me um where did you go who are you oh my god yeah they're swinging their arms they're walking back and forth um uh god it's good to be home what are you talking about um somebody is there these are all my signs um for like not ready not ready to go yet interesting um hold on what are you doing who are you who are you to this person interesting they are from what you sent me to how this person feels i'm gonna say this goes along with Chris, just all the way. And the reason being is because when he smiles, he just gives me this huge smile all the way. And he makes it really big. But that's just one of his, he's not smiling 24-7, but that's, he's just showing me this attribute. And he's walking around you and he's pacing. Um, and he's saying, tell me, where did he like call you a fighter in a good way that's great he is he's essentially he has like boxing gloves on i know he's not a fighter but um <laughs> i know i know he's not i know he's not but i think he's trying to say like he takes one for the team for you now um i don't think this is relationship this almost feels like best friend or like brother thing or something like that do you have any ideas like who's chris to you because he keeps standing beside you which would get in that area oh uh, that's my brother that is brother. Okay, cool. Yeah, because that, that's a symbol standing beside and like feeling like he's going to like figure this out for you. Oh my God. He, what? And she, what? No wonder. Really? And he is older? Yes. Oh, okay. So I, you're going to notice when I'm talking, I'll say a lot of things, like I'll move my mouth and it's because I'm, he's talking to me. And I'm trying to sort out, is this exactly what you mean? He goes, uh, I said, so why do you stand beside her? I said, what do you think of her? I said, is this your older sister? What? He says, no, 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 I'm older. I, and it, it should be. He was like, but she, you know, she, we can say that she's older now, of course. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. And he's just talking about how 
He says he has a good head on his shoulders, though. Interesting. Um, but he's talking about having you. You have a better one. He has like an air of mischievous a little bit, but it's not like it's almost um like f- f- that's not even a good word. Foxy, like sly, like. Oh, absolutely. And he's, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And he's he's not. I keep, so I'm asking him a million questions in my head and he's like wanting to go on his narrative only. So hold on. Tell me. Hold on. He has you shaking your head. So. Oh, Chris. So. He says, I'm not a bad person, but there's a lot of disappointments. And I quote, I said, okay. Um, And he has everybody going like this. And he's sorry about that. And you must have a lot of Aries underneath you somewhere because you are very quick and fast. And boop, 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 boop. Oh, we'll look at his chart maybe later. He, um, Gemini, interesting. Uh, I wonder who gets into that as well. Tell me what. Why are you fucking skinny? Not you, him. He's saying he's fucking skinny. And I quote, what is going on? He says, he's walking around. He just shows me his wrist. He goes, I'm fucking skinny. I go, oh, well, that's good. Thank you. And I think he's meaning. But he didn't have cancer, though, correct? Not that I know of, no. Yeah, leave that there. Okay. I said, why are you skinny? I said, did you have cancer? He says, no, of course I didn't have cancer. I go, oh. Okay, so why are you skinny? That's the only reason why people are thin <laughs> in my head on purpose. Okay, he says, um, hold on. I'm just confirming these things. He, tell me. Oh, sis, oh, sis, oh, sis. I'm here, I'm here. I'm here to back you up. He just, like, wants to let you know that over and over and over again. Um, he just, like, wants to sit down and have some coffee with you he just that's it and uh i don't think you really got to have a chance to like do that like the last year or so of his life at all or anything because he's just talking about hoping that he can and he like pulls up a chair next to you i don't know where you're at but your ceiling's beautiful this is why i don't look at (laughs) we'll have to see um and are you at a table like at an actual dining table right now it's our like um our kitchen counter oh yeah okay is there a chair next to you and my foot's on it, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would be why. Okay, yeah, a lot of, like, this looks like an office to me. So I was like, I don't know what chair you're pulling up. No, but... it's our kitchen. Yeah, he's pulling up a chair next to you to have a cup okay. of coffee. He says that, uh, ooh. Maybe he squandered a lot of his money away. He's talking about not oh. having a ton of money. He's talking about, uh, he made me feel teeth. And then he's talking about maybe he had a lot of issues with, maybe not in the front, but the back teeth, and he can't afford it, or he can't do this, and he doesn't have a ton of money, and he says, like, oh, don't have to worry about that now. He has a lot of unfinished business, which is why he's here, and slowly we're going to get him into opening up about his personal life, right? And I'm just kind of dancing around the outside so that he gets comfortable with me, and... So he was, he was having like a really hard time with money. He was like poor, essentially. Okay. He's not, not like destitute all the way, but he shows me dirty tennis shoes, which is a symbol for like not being able to afford new tennis shoes. That's it. Um, And right now they're very expensive. So I would get it. He, what? Just looking at this. Music. I know you would mess with music, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Oh, Does she? This is going to be a very odd question. You don't have a button that you can push and like the shades come down or something? No. Okay. Okay. Odd. He just made, okay, let me, the only reason I'm asking mm-hmm. you that is because he's talking about um, like if somebody puts on music, but it's all coming from like above, like speakers or something like that. But then he presses a button and like the lights go all the way down, like automatically. And for me, this means like shades coming down as well. Um, I don't think he had a house like that. Um, that's the only reason why I'm trying to figure out. Are there like shades in the windows? Like I see yeah, that in no. California, but I've never seen it before. Okay. Yeah, leave <laughs> that there. I think he's trying to create um, a mood. That would be the other symbol for me. Um 
but I'm I get very literal in it. Tell me about what? What about her? Who? I think he has middle vibration. Um, he says, which we'll talk about what that is later. He says, mom's trying to get me out. Now, I don't know if mom is gone or mom is here. We'll have to figure out that in just a second. Um, he says, mom's trying to get me out. I go, oh, really? What's going on? And he says, like, God bless her. I go, oh, okay, good. And he gives me a feeling of um, maybe like a mother's heartache going out and like trying really hard like that. Um, and he he's disappointed 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 um i love you mom that's all he says so he's like yelling at somebody hold on we'll see tell me what 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 he says that your area is like the arctic <laughs> we'll have to figure out where you're at um hold on <laughs> He put, but he says he doesn't have to worry about this anymore. Did somebody ever have, oh, I wonder if this goes along. Hold on. You seem like you have a very clean house, so I don't know. Did somebody ever have like a very fluffy, like Newfoundland dog or a very fluffy white dog or something? Like thick coat. Like, thick coat. <laughs> We had a Pyrenees when we were younger for a little yeah, bit. Pyrenees! Yeah, Pyrenees! Fluffy white one! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Okay, they oh, they showed me the size of it, and then they made me feel like the double coat. I've only touched them one time on accident at a dog park. <laughs> and then they, they put it up, and they showed that. And, like, in Texas, where we're at, they like to use them for farm dogs, but they shave mm -hmm. them all the way mm -hmm. down. Um, hold on. They're... Yeah. I got him here. I got him here. So I think that was the dog they were trying to bring up earlier. We'll have to figure oh. out what that is. Yeah. Great can... Pyrenees. So he... it's not a Pyrenees. It's a Mastiff, I bet. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Yeah. He keeps saying got him here, but you can feel this girl. <laughs> yeah. This dog. And um, he says that. Was he on the fritz with his wife? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, this is what he says. I said, so what were you doing? I said, were you a single man or what was going on? He said, she's going to hell too. I said, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. What is that? He's not in He's not in hell. He's not in a negative. We'll talk about what the middle vibration is. And I go, what? He says, uh, something, 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 long-term relationship, uh, uh, taxes. That's for me means I got married, long-term relationship because you claim all your taxes, right? And um, he says, um, he says, like, we weren't good for each other or like we were on the fritz. We were like, Ugh. and I go, oh, OK. Um, you have an anger problem. I get it. Um, or a frustration problem. Um, and he goes, da! And I go, OK. Um, but like both of them are not helping one another. And he says that. Shush, you can't say that. You can't say that. Um, and you're really, okay, so you are, you, you are in a relationship though right now? Me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. He goes like this. He says, tell her I'll be here. Tell her I'll be here forever, even if that relationship ends. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and um, I said, how is it going right now? And he's just, he gives me smooth which means like it's good I guess like we're smooth I said fine um there's but he didn't say good he didn't say great he said smooth but it may be because of where he's at he can't experience all the way love yet so I'm just going to just leave that there I'm not saying anything's going to end or anything like that he is talking about how he keeps flashing me his face I think when he's dead um he's he's like pop pop that's what he keeps doing. So I'm going to have to talk about what about her?
there is some almost angelic female presence that is trying to show up. And when you channel people, it's like tuning into a radio station. And and it's almost like if you're like off by a little bit because I'm with him right now. But you can feel like this type of feeling coming in. <laughs> um, so we'll get to that. He... My sister, were you, were, did you pay for his, part of his funeral? <laughs> My, okay. Oh, so, he passed away um, right at the start of the pandemic. Um, so we did not have a funeral. Um, and my sister refused to have any part of laying him to rest. So yes, I, I got his headstone, the cemetery plot. You did! He says, my sister hawked up the money for my, and he <laughs> gives me a, a headstone and he puts a, and he, he says memorial or funeral. And I was like, wow, really? And did I but pick he a good one? <laughs> oh, well, hold on. Well, I'm going to see if he can show it to me, right? So he was talking about, I said, are you cremated? Or are you buried? Or what's going on? And he keeps talking about um, maybe there's a family plot or maybe there's like a family thing or something. Or if he's buried, hold on. Are it like him and other people in the same cemetery, but they're not next to each other? I mean, obviously there's other people there, right? But family, but they're not next to each other? Yeah. Okay. Okay, sorry. He went like this. He just showed me a square. He put, yeah. <laughs> he put boop, boop. Yep. yep. So like, mm -hmm. and um, he says, uh, he says, we're all family in the end. And what? You didn't put his picture on it? No. Oh, he, like, sorry. That's what everybody loves. <laughs> this is what he said. He goes like this. He says, you didn't show him my good side. And yeah. I go, what? And then I said, everybody's doing the picture. He goes, no, no, no. She didn't put it on. And I said, oh, okay, well, that's okay. And <laughs> he says that I can see his cheekbones. He says that. Yeah. What? He says, God, I love you. God, I love you. Yes. Um, he, he, he's a great guy. <laughs> he's learning. He's like, I'm going to say he's like your guide. And hold on. He talks very fast in my head now. Um <laughs> Tell me, like, that's how he sounds, but that language is transferred into words in my brain. Hold on. He, tell me. Oh. Oh. How? How? Did he, was he like, did, did he have like an addiction issue? He says, Amy, I was, he goes, um, he's talking about, okay, so he, I went to a Holocaust museum a while back because my family side was like part of that. And he just brought up pictures of the Holocaust people, of the, the Jewish people going through with like that. And he says, oh, I was more skinnier than this. I said, oh my God, that's, that's terrible. And then I said, how did, how, what happened here? I said, did you have an eating disorder? He says, drugs, drugs, drugs. He says, more drugs than you could say, shake a stick at. And I go, oh, okay. And um, I go, why? Did he? But he did get sober before. So he did get, yeah. I said, what happened? I said, did you relapse or what? He says, he says I was doing really bad for a little bit. He I said, did you ever, like, have a good life? And he says, yeah, yeah. And he says, and I was good. And people were proud of me. And then he says, and then it just... And I go, oh, okay. And he's talking about uh, wasted time. And he says that, tell me. Oh, man. Oh, my. Can you? Weird. Was he like a, 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 a meth and heroin person? All I knew about was the meth. Meth. Okay. Yeah. He keeps talking. So he's letting me know how he cooks it. That's the only reason. Or like oh, if you, yeah, I'm that's, so how do you think I delineate between drugs? They pick everything up that I've ever experienced, but I mean, not me personally, but like through people passing and they mm -hmm. show me like a spoon and they show me 
cooking it. And I'm like, okay, meth does this way, I believe. But then he talks about like there's a downer that hits him or goes into this. Um, but he says he's not addicted to fentanyl. That's why I was like, oh, well, maybe this goes into like heroin. Um, and uh, no wonder he's so skinny because he's running around like a <laughs> crazy person. But he's such a good guy. Um, he's fun when he's fun. He's good when he's good. And he gets it. He understands it. He's scratching himself. So he was like, tell me what. Hold on. Was she really? So the wife did it too? Probably. Yeah, he goes like this. He's He says halfway house. Maybe he went to a halfway house once or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then he... He did. Okay. Yeah. And then he says something about, uh, well, she wasn't good, good for me. I said, why? And then he's talking about her, um, a little bit, um, just kind of like allowing this to happen or like letting this happen too. And he says that, what? I love you. I wish I could go back. I mean, that's what he's doing right now and tell my sister how much I love her. I care about her. And I essentially see all the shit that I put you through, put y'all through. Um, and he, what? Who is the Taurus? Who's the Taurus or the Capricorn? Who's that? So that's May or January or very end of April. <laughs> or does your, it's almost like points to your sister. Um, hold on. Let me look really quick. Let me, where's my thingy? I just want to look real quick. I'll tell you mine if you tell me hers because I want to see why is he giving me that energy. Um, do you know your sister's birthday? Mine's November 7th of 1988. Um, my, I don't know the year. <laughs> she's October oh, 21st. Okay. Oh, she's a Scorpio. Okay, so she's right there. She may have, um, she's a Libra. I bet she has a lot of Taurus underneath her because they're, he's talking about how this woman, the one that like didn't do the whole cemetery, how she just wants, she just wants things to be fair. She just wants things to be even, but she's very tough or very like, mm, which is good for some reason. I don't know. That for me is like Taurus energy mixed with like Libra or Gemini. I don't know. We'll get into that. It's, it's a type of vibration. <laughs> um, he's talking about, I always like to figure everything out. He says that Why? Were you? You're not Minnesota. St. Paul? What does St. Paul have to do with anything? Or what is St. Paul? Or do we have ours? I'm in Minnesota. You're in Minnesota. That's the only city I know in Minnesota. Okay. You're <laughs> No wonder. Okay, I've never actually been there before. Um, oh, cool. Good job. Good job. And then but he was, but he wasn't in Minnesota, though, correct? He was. He was. How far? Why was he like four or five hours? I don't know how big Minnesota is. How? Why is he like two or three hours away? Why is he so far away? Um, He could have, at what point? <laughs> he okay, to, so let me tell you. So it almost feels like if somebody's in Minnesota... And somebody's in Chicago like that. And I haven't really been up in that whole area, but it's still in the cold, freezing, too much snow for me category. But it's <laughs> almost like we went to a city that feels tough, which is like Chicago or Detroit for me, like mm, like that. Um, but that's dealing with him. Did he ever go or was like staying in one of those places like that? Not Chicago. No. Okay. Um and in Minnesota, we can be, you know, a few hours from each other very easily. Yeah. But yeah, oh, okay. I guess I don't okay. know what Just leave it. Yeah, it's hard for me to because I've never been up in that area. So yeah. it's just a feeling. So we'll we'll go and we'll we'll see if we can get some more. So don't like sit on that. He what? Hold on. Tell me. Hmm. He has people saying he's going under, he's going under, he's going under. Um, I think they, 
Did they end up like calling the ambulance at his house or where he was staying? Where he was staying. He wasn't at home. Yeah. That's, yeah. This is what he goes. He's, he, um, he shows me laying down. Um, but it doesn't feel like I'm in like a home bed. And I said, tell me what happened. I said, are you at the hospital? What? And he's talking about standing, I guess, near his body or by his body and saying, like, don't come near me. They can't do anything for me. They can't do anything for me. You don't need to put anything on me. And I said, are people like rushing to try to like save your heart or something? And he's like, no. And I go, oh, so there's like no that. And then he's talking about watching his body lay on like a metal cot getting zipped essentially um so i think he followed himself directly to what would be like a funeral home and he's just trying to go over that and he finds it very disturbing uh and he was almost embarrassed about it um and he won't tell me why Weird. Do you know if he also had like hepatitis C going on? I, I don't know. Okay, interesting. I know he didn't do like needles and shooting up, but he keeps showing me an image for like, um, like what would be like Hep C, and I know you would get that from that, but maybe he would have that from before or something. Um, and he's just talking about how he has this ongoing thing underneath it that just makes me feel terrible yeah your brother is I would even have to say your guide he's like the first one to show up he was here <laughs> like as soon as this um and he's sorry he's sorry now this is the whole thing when I'm talking to him you know we'll have to figure out how many years it's been um time doesn't exist when you die so am I talking to him however many months or years this has been or am I talking to him at the point of his departure you know, I don't know. So we'll have to figure that, that out as well. He says that, tell me, hold on, come here. Okay, just to confirm, you do have, weird. And you still do have your spleen, correct? You do? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Have you, did you get your appendix removed? No. Okay. So the only thing I'm going to say on that is that they have something going on with you. Um, I don't know if they're just trying to talk about future. I don't know if there was like damage going on. Um, I just, this year, I want you to be really conscious of, I would even say, I bet it's still cold up there with you at right now. Um, it's mm -hmm. like 70 here right now, but cause they keep making me feel like something, something is going to, it's going to revolve around, I've never had gallbladder issues, so I don't know, maybe it could go with that as well. Um, but I would have to say gallbladder or spleen or appendix, there may be like a particular amount of pain that starts happening this year, um, or something and it may grow, but and the reason why I think it's going to happen to you is because you're joking about it almost in your head, like, oh, this is an issue that happens to, like, 20-year-olds, you know, when you're like, oh, I'm, like, how I'm 35. I'm going to say you're, like, maybe 35. Um, and you're like, oh, weird, weird, you're weird. <laughs> you're, no, anytime, anytime. And so I'm going to say watch out for this because it also hurts okay. right here. Um, hold on. Tell me, tell me, tell me about him. Hold on. Tell me. Okay, I'm going to ask him if I can get this other female entity to come through, but I'm going to have to switch up, I guess you'd say switch up channels, and then we'll come back to it. Um, hold on. He's real quick. He's talking about, he's walking around in a really, it's because he was so thin, um, big like jacket w with a hood on it. Um, and hold on. Come here. Uh, 
you never took his stinky jacket, correct? And I quote, that's what he calls it. Mm, I have some of his clothes. Mm, it's just, it's a zip up hoodie. It's a zip up hoodie with a little, with a hood on it. Like it's a big, thick up. hoodie. Mm. I would have to say, yeah. Yeah. Because he's walking okay. around with his little hands in it like this but it goes past his hips so that means it doesn't necessarily fit it's bigger um and he like almost puts puts it as having stains on it and i'm like i don't know i don't know i don't think he was a dirty doesn't feel like he's a dirty person you know so there, so it may have something to do with that so you'll have to let me know but he keeps showing it up as Does it have a design on it? I would have to say something in the front right here, but I don't know what it is. It's almost like the logo. So mind you, they pull stuff out of my brain, right? And so it's almost like if somebody, I don't think it's a sports team, but it's something like here. Um, yeah, so it's about this big. So I don't know. Do you have any idea? That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I've got what a is that? Up gray hoodie. I have one. Oh, of you do. <laughs> this is okay. Shoe. It's gray. <laughs> oh, and it's it's just, and Nike <laughs> sports. Okay, leave that there. All right. That's why. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. He's he's making me feel the inside with my hands, mm. and I'm like, all right. And he tell me. That's why you're wearing his stinky hoodies. Mm -hmm. We're going to call them that. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he's funny. He's not He's not bashful um, at all. And now that he's gotten, he said he was in denial, though. Um, he says that, tell me. So what are you doing now? Tell me. Come here. Hold on. He's saying, I want to introduce you to somebody. I go, okay, who are we introducing to? Um, so mom is crossed over. So mom is, okay. He goes like this. He says, I want to introduce you to, and he puts M-O-M. -M. I go, oh, okay, okay. Um. But she is, he puts himself as being so tall and lanky in my head. Mm -hmm. um, he's maybe, really? Is he like 6'1", six, 6'2"? Six, yeah. Yeah, he goes like this. I said, how tall are you? I said, because I'm 5'11". I go, compare yourself. Because some guys, mm -hmm. they like to say they're <laughs> tall, but they're short. And uh, he says, you know, I'm like 6'1", 6'2", on a good day. I go, oh, okay, good. And then he puts her as like being down here on him. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. She's very small. Yeah. And he grabs her and he moves her up. I go, okay. <laughs> and he says that, um, interesting, he's saying this, this is why I'm here. So he's just talking about maybe mom is making him stay here to watch you and protect y'all and make <laughs> sure that you're okay. Um, and it's part of him as well. Tell me about her. Hold on. She's going to talk in feelings more than words because she's uh, higher vibrational. Um, and she's not pacing. She's just standing there. Um, tell me. What, what, what? Oh, man. Oh, I hear her laughing. Um, do you? It's weird. I think your fingers look like your mother's. I'm just going to say that. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. She goes up and she <laughs> somebody grabs your hand with a tissue in it and they went and like focused on your little pinkies. <laughs> the, oh, shut up. <laughs> That's her ring. <laughs> and here's my Kleenex. <laughs> I thought she was just holding your hand. She was oh. trying to tell me about it. <laughs> there you go. All right. Good job.
job. Yeah, I felt yeah, her. <laughs> yeah, I felt her grab your hand. Like I can feel the structure of your fingers. Yeah, she's there. She, oh, that's good job. Good and job. so she's, yeah, she's talking in feelings. She feels like a, a, a warm hug on like a cold night. It's really nice. And um, she was making me feel, oh. Uh, I know you just miss her so much, but she's in this kitchen with you a lot. Um, what? <laughs> you don't like to cook necessarily? You personally? Me? It's not like you're. Yeah. I love to cook. Yeah. You do. Okay. She goes like this. She's not in there as enough as she should be. And I said, what are you talking about? And then she has you being tired, but then she has you saying like, all right, I just got to get in here and make this. And so I'm like, maybe she doesn't like you. <laughs> yeah. It's probably because you're exhausted and you're like, oh, shit, now I got to make dinner, essentially. So that's me reading that wrong. And she's talking about how she's laughing. <laughs> like, I can see her with her mouth open for some reason. And she says she was more quiet than that. She's talking about you laughing. She closes her mouth again. What? What are you doing with your mouth? Why do you keep doing that? Hold on. Only on special occasions. She put on lipstick in my head for a special occasion. Okay. And <laughs> she says that. What? Hold on. Tell me. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. So we had a viewing for mom. She was cremated. She was. Okay. What was the, what was the whole setting her in? Oh, it's because they moved her body. She goes like this. She goes, they set me in there all prim and proper and everybody came and, you know, uh, took note, took note. And I'm like, oh, okay. Interesting. Um, and she's talking about how, why would she do that though? Hold on. Give me one second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. She fills her face out. Why would you fill your face out? Like it goes from thin to big or thin to normal um tell me she took a hair clip out of her hair which leads me to believe that maybe it was maybe she's trying to tell you she has really nice hair now that'd be my thing on that she's saying that we'll have to figure out why though hold on she says there wasn't enough in it when she passed to like put it in a hair clip though so I think mm -hmm. there's, okay, yep, that, yep. So she took the video that I made of my dog being afraid of my hair clip. It made me feel what it was like to take that out. And she's saying that, tell me, hold on, your brother's trying to come in and hop in my brain at the same time. And so I'm having to like push him out. Um, hold on, tell me. All I hear is everybody laughing around this kitchen island that you're on. Um, I wonder, did y'all like just have, like, no, you don't seem like you'll have wild crazy parties in here. <laughs> Are you going to have a get together in here? Like in like the next like week or is there something going on? Like where we would have, okay, yeah, it's almost like people got, I don't want to say it's Christmas, um, but it's almost like everybody got around, like we would put chips and salsa on our island and everybody comes around and talks and, you know, <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, there's something about that and she has everybody like laughing around this and it's very loving, so maybe she's trying to talk about something that just happened, I don't know. She says that, um, tell me, but she was like here for this, she says, tell me, tell me, tell me, what about it? She likes, interesting. So these windows, they keep going that away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because she's standing over here, like, wait, that away. She's standing over there and she keeps showing me the view. And she says, oh, they keep going. And she's like making me look at them all. I don't <laughs> know what she, she's trying to make me see something in your kitchen, but I'm just not grasping it in my brain. 
Um, and she says, but this is like, so the kitchen cabinets itself and everything are like new state of the art. They're not brand new. <laughs> They're oh, nice. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. She just goes like this. She just makes me, um, she's talking about, she showed me stuff like, uh, uh, home decor and all that. And she says, oh, it's so smooth. It's so nice. And she's essentially doing it like a, nice. um, yeah. Okay. Leave that there. Yeah. That's what she's talking about. I think she's trying to compliment you on your kitchen. That's where she's okay. going with this, but I'm getting really <laughs> logical with it. And she says that, tell me. Oh, has she like not been in this home before? No. Oh, that's why. That's why. Okay. <laughs> She goes like this. I said, what do you do? And I said, so where's your room? Where did you stay at? She says, oh, well, I would have a room for me now, but I have never really been here before. She says, that's why I'm trying to compliment everything. And I go, oh, okay, well, thank you. And she says, what? She says, I, this was all just a pipe dream when I was alive. I don't understand. So maybe like, so this is like your forever home? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Okay, cool. Yeah. I said, what do you mean pipe dream? She goes, oh. And then she says, like, living here and dying here. I go, good. That's the forever home. And <laughs> she says that, what? Tell me. Hold on. Who? Brother? Brother? Another one? Wait. Hold on. And so you do have a husband. It is a husband, husband. It's not just a relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. And does he have a brother that's crossed as well? Um, best friend. Yeah. Oh. But we call him brother. Oh, oh yeah. That's yes. Okay. Sorry. I go. I go like this. I said okay. brother. Yeah. She says. She says he's here. He's here. Oh, he's good. Mm -hmm. I said. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to figure out why. And and. That's who's laughing with her in the kitchen. <laughs> that's what it is. Okay, that's the party. And um, I go, why? And I said, does she have another brother that's dead? And she goes, husband, husband, him, around him, love him. I go, oh, okay. And it's just like, hey, what? I can hear what a conversation between them would be. And he just says, I'm hanging in here. I'm hanging in here. He's like, hey, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, you know, I'm good. Oh, I'm just hanging in here. What are you doing? And um, there's a masculine energy that is in a lighter vibrational state that is um, he says, like, I'm your number one fan, man. Nobody else. Like, that's just this. And he keeps talking to the husband. <laughs> It was like that. I go, oh, okay. He says that. Tell me. What? It's weird that he brought the Gladiator movie up in my head. I have no idea what Russell Crowe would have anything to do with this, but it's very odd. Now, the other thing I'm just going to leave this here is like, <laughs> I just want you to tell your husband this when you talk to him. Um, I want you to know that I think Russell <laughs> Russell Crowe, I don't know why, will be like a sign from his friend to him. So he's either going to see him randomly or something's going to come <laughs> up or people are going to talk about it. Or maybe when he goes on like a computer or a phone or something or, or TV, it's going to like say the Gladiator movie like you should watch this or something. Just watch. Yeah. That will happen. <laughs> And it's so <laughs> random that when you see it, you'll be like, odd. Okay. I was, yeah. Um, my next thing would be like, oh, is it his favorite movie? And it's like, no. No. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. I, I know. I know. Um, hold on. Let me see. Tell me. Tell me what about her. Oh. Hold on. interesting but your husband doesn't have difficulties breathing at night but he does snore mm -hmm. okay hmm. they um he goes man i'm with you at night and i go okay that's creepy i said tell me more about that <laughs> and he says he says watch out for your chest and then he makes me feel like 
like hardcore. And I said, does he have a CPAP or something? It's like, that's what you're talking about. And he says, no, he says, but have him watch out for that. Like maybe down the line, he may actually need that, um, or coming up soon or something. Um, so just be on the lookout. Okay. And, um, just let him know that his friends with him at night. That's very interesting. And he (laughs) says that, oh, Okay, so, like, you, you'll you have a drink, but, like, only on a Friday night? Not only on Fridays, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, you saw me here. <laughs> yes, yes, this is what he said. He he made me hear, thunk, like, if a lid was coming off or a top, and then I heard was, like, if you got that big cup you had, and you're like, oh, it's not bad. <laughs> And, and he's talking about being here for this, but he says that you're a good person. That's why I was like, oh, it's only on a Friday night. I mean, it doesn't matter. But you know what I'm saying? That's like my theme. Um, and so they're with you for that. Um, he keeps cheersing him over and over and over again. So like cheers him or like give this to him, please. Um, and he uh, he loves him. That's I can feel his hands. His meaty man mitts are just. <laughs> they're there, um, just like your mom. I don't know what's up with hands today. Um, He says that. Tell me. What are you rooting at? Hold on. So he was around when y'all first got married? Yeah. Was this, but yeah, okay, okay. I said, so tell me about your friendship or tell me what's up. And he goes, yeah, woo, 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 woo. I'm like, all right, we're being like a, a, just a crazy guy. I said, good. I said, he says, I love her. He's talking about you. I said, oh, he says, I remember when they got married. I was like, oh, really? And he takes like you or him and your husband and then he pushes you aside. So it's like them um, in a joking way, but he's talking about how you all got together for that as well. And he says that, tell me, he's watching your mom. He has your mom. Um, Yeah, your brother's definitely going to be your guide. His best friend. What? I'm trying to ask him at the same time. There's so many questions I want to ask all these people. Hang on. (laughs) Hold on. Tell me. Oh, your mom feels like their journey was done. Um, hold on. Interesting. So was mom in like a, uh, now I'm not saying rehab, like drug rehab. Was mom either in like a hospital facility or like a rehab facility? When she passed? Yeah. In the hospital? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. They keep having you coming up and grabbing her hand, but, like, it seems like all the nurses are exceedingly helpful. That's why it's like, oh, maybe this is, like, rehab to, like, get better, try to get better. And they have that damn tissue there again. Um, And they have you being around her, which is nice. And she says, like, um, essentially, like, lost the battle or something, but it doesn't matter. Um, and, uh, she says that she's free. I go, okay. Okay. And, um, she feels like a breath. That's what your mother feels. Um, but she tells you to keep doing good in the world. She wants you to do good in the world. And she says that your mom feels like she would be the nicest lady at the grocery store like that. I would want to meet her and shake her hand. She keeps coming up and like, hi, how are you? Hello. Hello, I'm like, Hello mom. How are you? Um, she's like, let's sit down and talk. Um, like I want to share recipes with her and like dump cake and stuff like that. And she says that, tell me. Oh. Do you have flower beds all in the back there? Like behind the sidewalk? thing for like the cement part what is that 
okay, yeah. She says, oh, they're going to be so pretty. I said, what? She says, all the flower beds that are like over there, they're like behind this. I said, oh, and she goes, and she was like, oh, wonderful. So she's all about the bringer of love and luck and joy and color and like fun. And so that's her role is to make you smile. Your brother is there to protect you. And then your husband's brother, I'm calling him brother, best friend is there to just like keep his ass in check, essentially. Um, and she says that, oh, so you did have, you were there, you were able to be there with your mother before she crossed over and when this happened. Yeah. Okay. I said, uh, I said, so what happened in the end? What, do you need any closure? I know she doesn't need any closure because she goes, oh, everything's fine. And I'm like, oh, all right, cool. That means everything <laughs> kind of like shifted out well. Unlike your brother that walks in and it's abrupt and you can feel that. That's what happens. Your what? Tell me. I don't know. Oh. One second. She showed me pictures of you when you were like 17, 18. Interesting. Um, hold on. Oh, did you use the, was your hair like down to here? Was it long? Um, not in high school, no. I mean, maybe. On. Armpits. Right there. She has you, so she, and has it always been like, is that a natural curl that you have? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So she goes, she comes up and she says, Oh, her hair. I said, I love it like that. She says, Oh, it's like yours. And she just showed me a picture of you. Like if somebody is sitting with a tank top on <laughs> and like you had, and I'm like, Oh, okay. So this has to be during summer, obviously. Cause you live in a refrigerator right now. And she says she has it with you like a light tan on your shoulders, which means we'd like to go outside or we'd like to have this, not all the way, which is like naturally, you know, and she says that, tell me, how? What is the significance of 26 between you and your husband? Or February, oh, today's February 5th, February 6th. No, nothing with that. Um, 26, when did you, or does, is there something to do with February 6th? No, not. Okay. Okay. Not that I How old were you when something. you met him? Yeah. They keep saying 26, but then they put like you and your relationship because you knew him. When did you get to know him? When did you meet him? Uh, when I was 21. So you were that young. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so I don't know what the significant of 25, 26 would be. Um, <laughs> How, when, when did you get married? Just me. I'm, I'm asking just for fun. No, it's okay. Um, August 10th of 02. How old were you then? 22. We're only dating okay. for a year. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So she was trying to compare um, something. She was talking about how y'all have been together since you were young kids. But then I got a divorce when I was 26. And so she brought that up. And I was like, she didn't get a divorce. I have no idea what two six means. Those would be all the numbers. So think about that. And if it doesn't, I don't know why they bring that up. So let me see. And I don't think you're going to be getting a divorce um, at all. There. Tell me, mom. Come here. Come here. Come here. What? 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 Hold on. Did you? saying grapes and vino um she's saying what hold on i'm trying to get your mom to talk your husband's best friend is trying to come in all the time and i'm separating it for her hold on. She's just talking about, hold on. interesting, you must have good living room furniture, but you don't, 
Do you, like, not take the time to relax on your living room furniture? Is it either, like, in here or, like, your bedroom? Is, like, that it? Not very often. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She says, sit down and watch a movie. No. And I go, what are you talking about? And then she has, she gets you and she has you sit down on a couch. She has you put a blanket on. She has you bring your feet up. And then she sits next to you. And she gets, like, popcorn. I said, oh, is this, like, a favorite thing that you do? Or, like, does she do this all the time? And she goes, no. And she says, always, like, here, there, here, there. (laughs) So it's, like, her thing of saying, relax a little bit. I'll be there with you to do this as well. Like, please do that. Um, And she says that. Was your mom into, like, public speaking or something or, like, She almost feels like teaching. Like she likes to go out and tell people what to do and like how to do it. And she gets good at it. But then she's a homemaker at the same time. Um, It's almost like she is in line and trying to, not in a boss way, but like in a nice way. But it's not customer service, which is interesting. Um, Hold on. Hold on. It's not teaching all the way. She just keeps talking about helping people. Helping people, helping people. Um, it's my job, but hold on. Tell me one more time. Whatever she's doing, I think she's helping your brother get to a better state. I think she's the one that helps everybody else. I think in some way she's either teaching or guiding or something like that going on with your brother because maybe he didn't listen to her um, in this physical life. And so now she's doing that here and he understands it. Um, what did she do? What What was your mom's like? What she, uh, she was a chemical she? dependency counselor. Interesting. Okay. that The brother would be, okay, leave that there. Interesting. Yeah, going... Wow, that's intense. No wonder. No wonder she'd be helping her brother then. Look at that. I mean, he's not on it anymore, but she does with like the anxiety and all that stuff. Um, Mm -hmm. She says the irony. I was like, oh, okay. She says, come here. Come here. Come here. One more with her. Tell me. Hold on. Is it? Where is your your husband's best friend keeps talking about I don't know if you actually have this or if he just keeps saying I want you to have this. Um, Do you have his like big smiling face in your living room? I have his picture right here. Oh, shut up. (laughs) He goes, there's my big ass smile and face. And I go, what? And he goes. And I'm like, oh, and um, it was interesting. He showed me a fishing rod and I was like, do they have your fishing rod? And he was like, no, it's not in the living room. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he knows. He knows. He so he's talking about that because he showed me that. He says that, tell me, oh, one more time. So they he would do like mini competitions, just like mini competitions for fishing, but like they didn't actually really win or anything like that. Do you know? They would go fishing. Mm-hmm. Oh, they will. Okay. Okay. This is all he says. He says, he says, I'm going to get one bigger. I'm going to get one bigger. I'm going to get one bigger. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and then he says, I said, did you win money? He goes, no, 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 no money. Just that like down here uh, in the Gulf of Mexico, you go out and you try to get like the biggest, you know, bass or not bass, um, uh, like redfish. And then you get like a $10,000 prize or something like mm-hmm. that. That's what my dad used to do. Um, but he's saying it's not nearly <laughs> as competitive. So it definitely would be friendly. He says that, mm-hmm. tell me, and he's like joking. So your husband has the boat? What happened? about the boat, yeah. That... Ah, shut up. Not Kurt's boat. Oh, 
okay. He goes, let me tell you exactly what he said. He goes, oh, oh, and tell her husband, you know, someone, something boat. He has the boat. Oh, you know, he's the one with the money, not me. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> It's just joking. Obviously, there's a lot of sarcasm in there as well. Okay, yeah. but yeah, but that's what he he says. I know, I know. Um, and he's talking. To, it's it's almost like he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it, man. Get it, man. I'm like, oh, okay. And um, he says, like, I want you to enjoy that boat, man. I want you to enjoy that boat. Okay. Yeah. He's your your family is cool. They love you. Yeah. I mean, they are wonderful. Um. So let me. Let me tell you real quick a couple of things before I because I'm oh my god it just said okay I've never I'm taking I took a screenshot of that um I have never seen this in my life on here oh no I gotta save it first before I show you that um so after this I think this is coming from your husband's best friend um hold on but it says nightcap so n i g h t c a p so I think you have to go have a nightcap after this. Okay, and then they'll Probably. be with you for that. <laughs> yes, please, please. So this is what I want to want to tell you because I'm gonna have to run to my next session because I'm ten minutes over. I just looked I down. Um, I know, I know, I know. Okay, if you need me at all, just email me. Your family are more than willing to talk. They're lovely. Your mother is heavenly. The only thing that can be a little hard sometimes is when you're going between these vibrations, but they're they're all just jostling to get in. Okay, and like I would even say if you ever wanted to do it again, bring your husband in um, just 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 to bring him in for fun, just for fun, like no extra, no nothing, mm -hmm. just bring him in um, because he would get, I mean, everything because that's I mean, he loves you, but his energy is with him. Um, hold on. They. Hold on. he's talking about so he had like a pretty big his best friend they had a pretty good size like funeral for him yeah. yeah he goes like this he says you know he's full of sarcasm he's full of sarcasm he goes like this he says you know uh, uh and he shows like this big like where people would put pictures or something all up on a screen or something he shows it huge and he goes you know the thing i think they could have done it bigger and then he turns me around and it's like <sighs> all these people he says come on come on you think you think yeah they were there they were there but you think you think some for me it could have been more really <laughs> and i'm like whatever like that's you can feel the sarcasm so yeah he's uh he's very very cool so this is what i want you to do a couple things first thing is you need to take a minute have a good breather have a good ugly cry your family is really good at making me feel physical things like including this that's weird and and all the above the other thing is you need to tell them that you love them and thank you for them for mm -hmm. coming through I remember too that when they talk they talk to you too you just don't know how to turn all this into english essentially but they're going to be talking to you like this all the time you just don't understand it so like take notes okay if you get certain feelings or anything like that and i'll help you transcribe them the other thing is that tonight not only tell them you love them but look out for russell crowe <laughs> I had a weird thing to say. Um, I would even say tell your husband, too. It will come up in the most random of ways and take a picture and let me know when that happens. Okay? <laughs> the other thing with your brother is that he's not in a bad place at all. There's nothing bad. But when we cross over because of this and we have issues like this, like the pacing and stuff like that, he wasn't fully ready to almost like admit to himself <laughs> what was going on so then you match that vibration and so now when he's in this afterlife which is really just right here he has to do some good deeds in order to fully go into the light uh, and but it's always looked at by mom and love and angel i mean everything else there's nothing bad but now he's essentially going to be like attached in a good way to you to help you with your life and so you need to talk to him say hey i need you to help me with this can you please help me with this and he will do that they will do that okay but tell him you love him um also another thing down the line is that the sisters uh would need to forgive him as well that would be a big thing um because he's going to try to come and help them too okay but yeah but if you need me email me and let me know i love you I will. okay thank you for letting me reach your people thank you very much and do i 
um, get a copy of the call yes. of the video. Yes, I will. I'm okay. gonna send that to you tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Sounds Love good. Love you. Thank you very much. Bye.